Narok County residents have been warned against selling land and instead urged to use it for farming and the development of commercial investments. Narok Governor Patrick Olintutu says the move will create employment opportunities for the community. Details on this and more stories in the county news briefs. While in Narok, Narok Governor Patrick Olintutu said land investment is key to speedy development in the region. According to Ntutu, agricultural initiatives would empower the community, especially on wheat farming. Wale ambao wakona ardhi hapa, tafadhalini, ardhi sio ya kuenda kuuza, ardhi ni kuwachia familia, ili watuweze kupata kitu kama hii. Elsewhere, Nakuru Senator Tabitha Karanja has called on the Judicial Service Commission, DSC, to ensure court orders are enforced to the latter. Karanja says she will stop at nothing in the push for protecting human rights. The people of Nakuru, the problem is, can their health sector be back to no more? Can the county government obey the court orders? After that, there's nothing else. In Meru County, residents are said to benefit from improved cancer treatment services after a Cancer Care Africa initiative program, AstraZeneca, donated an ultrasound biopsy machine to Meru Teaching and Referral Hospital. The health facility becomes the fourth to receive the equipment in the country after, among others, Kenyatta National Hospital. And uh, this machine just prostate cancer alone, uh, it comes with a probe that uh, gives a 2D dimension. The imaging team um, and the urologists and the oncologists will understand better. Meanwhile, Baringo County government is seeking the deployment of more teachers to junior secondary schools in the region. The director of Ministry of Education, Baringo South Sub-County, George Ogeo, has said the county needs at least 120 teachers to address the gap allegedly attributed by insecurity concerns in the area. We have persuaded teachers who are able, uh, the teachers with the diploma or the graduates in the, who are teaching in the primary schools, to join in and uh, start uh, helping in subjects that they can in grade 7 and 8. And a dissemination campaign aimed at reducing cases of earlier marriages and pregnancies among young adolescent girls has been rolled out in Turkana. Separately, the government has lost 2 billion shillings on vandalism of transformers in the year 2022-2023. Energy Principal Secretary Alex Oshira says 894 transformers were lost, a burden that has caused Kenya Power Company a hefty bill on operations and maintenance fees. So you're asking Kenyans, please, uh, help us uh, to protect our critical infrastructure, knowing too well that this transformer, when it is installed, it is a, uh, energy is an enabler. And at least 40,000 households in selected parts of the country are set to benefit from humanitarian projects on health services and relief food programs, thanks to the Church of Jesus Christ-led program. The church leadership says... The project will prioritize the less fortunate in the society. We encourage our saints to be educated. We encourage our saints to be active in their communities, active in bringing good, active in helping the rising generation uh, in education, in self-reliance, in humanitarian. Irene Mchuma Odim, The Legends Edition.